Hey guys, today we're gonna go over what a DCP is and how to make one. A real quick video today. This is gonna be on how to make a DCP, a digital cinema package. It used to be back in the day, you had to pay a company to make them and it was like a couple thousand dollars to make one. But today, fortunately, we can make one in uh, pretty much any editing software. So Final Cut will do it, DaVinci Resolve will do it, and uh, Premiere Pro will do it. I'll show you how to make one, how to deliver it. So let's get started. So we've got Premiere Pro open here. Down here we have the finished timeline. We're gonna export this to make a DCP. So we go up to File. You go down to Export over to export media. This will bring up the export window. And what you're gonna wanna do is you go up to presets, you click it, and you find 2K Digital Cinema flat 24 frames per second. If this is not up here, if it's not in the window, scroll down to the bottom and hit more presets. This will bring up this window, preset manager window, and it will show you all the presets Premiere Pro has, which is quite a few presets. So in this case, it's the one on the top, as you can see here, 2K Digital Cinema, flat 24 frames per second. Underneath it is a 2K Digital Cinema, flat 25 frames per second, which is PAL. So you can see over here, it's 25 frames or 24. Since we're in America, you click on the 24 frames per second version. And the frame size you notice is 1998 by 1080. So you click on that, hit okay. And now it's into your preset window. Next thing you wanna do, name your file. It's gonna be the name.dcp. Tell it where you want it to go. I guess I'm going to do desktop. And then you go over to export. Now in this case, this timeline is about 20 minutes long and it's saying it needs at least 229 gigabytes of space. And that's all there is to it. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. I'll show you how to make a DCP from DaVinci Resolve. You got your timeline down here on edit. When you're ready to export, you're all done editing. Choose deliver, click on deliver, and up at the top, put your file name, your location, and then drop down to format. Click on format and scroll all the way up to the top. Near the top, you'll see DCP. Click on DCP. And your choices are the Kodaks are JPEG 2000 or Easy DCP. So you choose DCP. The Kodak would be either JPEG 2000 or Easy DCP. I would choose Easy DCP Type 2K. You can actually in DaVinci Resolve choose between 2K or 4K DCP, which is new. You used to only be able to choose 2K. So either 2K DCP or 4K. And that's pretty much it. Give it a file name, a location. When you're ready to export, hit add to render queue and stick it onto your drive. So now that you've made your DCP, how do you deliver it to the theater or the uh, festival? Well, you can, you can put it on a hard drive. You can either put it on one of these standard hard drives. Uh, there's a housing that bolts onto this that goes into the theater's um, server. So a lot of times the theaters will have extra mounts that you can use or you can buy one. I'll see if I can put a link where you can buy the mounts for these. So it's just a standard internal hard drive or like what I've done in the past is I just use a USB thumb drive. This one is a USB three, so it's pretty fast and it's a 256 gigabyte. So you put it on this, take it to the theater or ship it to the theater. They'll take it, they'll put it into their server and give it back to you. So this is the cheapest way to go. 
I'll also put a link in the description below. So to give you an idea of the size of a DCP package, a two hour movie can be anywhere from 200 gigabytes to 55 gigabytes, depending on the compression you use. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give a like, thumbs up. Uh, if you have any more questions regarding DCPs, leave a comment down below. I'll see if I can answer them and uh, I'll see you on the next one.